This is another way to dry your sprouts and also allow them to turn green. Just lay out a clean towel and I usually will put two down because um, your sprouts will be kind of wet. I've rinsed them for the last time and now it's they're, they're done sprouting and I just want those little leaves on them to turn green. So I'm just going to spread them out on a towel. Just make sure there's no clumps or anything. You just want to make sure there's a nice little thin layer as much as you can. And then just let those sit there in the sun for, oh, about four or six hours or just whenever they start to turn green and you're happy with the way they look. Some of your sprouts will turn much more green than other sprouts, but that's another good way just to let them dry and turn green in the sun. Okay, I've had these horse graham lentil sprouts sitting in the sun for probably, oh, I'd say about five or six hours now. And they're as green as they are going to get. Horse graham lentil sprouts don't quite get as green as some of your other um, sprouts, but you can see the little leaves coming out of there. They are nice and green now, so I'm good with that. And you want to make sure your hands are clean, your containers are clean, everything's clean that you're going to be using to touch um, the sprouts with and what you're going to store them in. Now, I try um, to store all my food in glass as much as possible. I know it's very hard, um, especially these days, but I just think it's very important for our health and not only for our health, but for the health of our land. We've, we've got to take better care of this and be better stewards of our land and teach our children better. But I just fill that up. And when I pick these up, I shake them off a little bit and that's gonna help get the shells and the holes off of there so you're not getting all those. But they'll, they'll still be some and it's okay. They're not gonna hurt you. Um, if they, I had some pretty bad digestion issues and they don't ever bother me so but, I mean, if you did have a problem digesting them or anything, then, of course, um, there's a few different ways you can get just about all of them off. Uh, but it is very hard. But I just try to pick as many of these as I can. And then, once I'm done, I just wrap up the towel and I take it outside and I shake it out. And I've got a little spot I shake it out at that way in case anything starts to grow. It's not growing in my garden or in my compost. Um, but yeah, there you go. And then I'll just stick the lids on these. And there, I've got, those will probably be enough for, I don't know, four or five salads or so. So there you go. I hope that helps. Just more tips and tricks on how to eat more plants. Until next time.